Good morning, everyone. It is officially my first day of practicum, so you guys get to see me in teacher mode today. Um, let's head to the school and see what my practicum is like. This is my breakfast. This is what I'm eating for breakfast today. so I just get back in my car for my first day off the bat I could tell that this is a really good school like as soon as I got there my cooperating teacher met me in the front office and gave me a tour of the school basically and all the teachers were just in their classrooms working and you could just tell it's a great environment to work in because they were all super friendly um just that great first welcoming impression i felt that and how cooperative cooperative everybody is like all the teachers help each other out so it's a really good community there um that they have built for themselves i'm sorry all these horse and buggies like i literally love it it's so interesting to me i'm gonna see if i can show you guys i just got totally distracted hold on Look at that. Wow. Anyways, that is super cool. But um, yeah, it's definitely culture difference for sure here. But um, <clears throat> that's the thing. You grow, you learn, you evaluate different cultures. But anyway, at this school, like I was saying before, <laughs> before I got distracted, um, it is a really good working environment. Every All the teachers are pretty close-knit. They know each other. And the school is actually pretty big. Um, so I was walking around for a long time just meeting everybody. And everybody was like, welcome to, welcome to Blank in the school's name. So that was really exciting just to see how they all interact with each other and just how welcoming they were to me. I definitely got great first impressions, great vibes, all that. <clears throat> And excuse me if it sounds like I have a cold, like I'm just starting to feel better. I've been under the weather. Um, <clears throat> even my voice sounds annoying to me. So sorry if it actually does sound annoying to you. But anyways, yeah, so I went to um, around the school and then we went to her classroom. She showed me around her classroom. And her classroom is like a dream classroom. Like, I wish I could show you guys. It is every first grader's dream, to be honest. It's huge. It has windows um super fun and inviting to be in i loved it and i'm not even a first grader but um she's been my cooperating teacher was so like informative she's been teaching for over 20 plus years and that at that is like as long as i've been born so she knows what she's talking about for sure and just the advice that she's already giving me is like super practical and I know I can implement my own classroom one day but um starting off she showed me the students routine gave me class roster class list um I got to know her for the first hour she got to know me um I just went over policies procedures how she handles classroom discipline COVID procedures all that and then the students came in which you gotta love the students they all came in and they of course especially at that young of an age if another lady's in your classroom like who is this teacher all this other stuff so the kids were super curious about me and um wanted the kids to know me which i appreciated like literally kids have my heart i thought 
I was going to be a little biased. Well, I just like third grade a lot. So to be in first grade, I was a little hesitant. Not going to lie, but um, after today, like, those nerves have definitely calmed because first grade, they're like their own little challenge, I should say. But um, it breaks my heart because those kids barely had a kindergarten. So just to see the way they interact in the school setting. But anyways, back to, yeah, my day. Um, she was introducing me. The kids were asking questions about me, all this other stuff. And she was like, yeah, she wants to be a teacher as well. So when you guys go to college, study whatever you want, maybe you will have your own practicum, all that other stuff. She related it back to the real world and just to have that teaching experience for them. Um, that was really great. And the students were really warm and accepting towards me so hopefully that continues the rest of the semester um so that I can be able to learn from them them learn from me and just like have that good teacher student relationship yeah then some students went to breakfast and they started their morning work it was like such a ease into the morning like the teacher is so relaxed thank god because I'm a pretty relaxed person as well and the way that she handles her students, I love it. The way she even interacts with them, it's so good to see good classroom management and that positive teacher relationship because that is so needed, um, especially for your students to know that you care. That goes a super long way. So to be able to see that right off the bat was pretty good. Um, and then they did the morning work. Pledge of Allegiance, all that morning routine stuff. So I got to witness that as well. And then they got right into phonics. Phonics, phonemic awareness um, with spelling, sight words, all that. So I got to witness that as well um, and help them out. Of course, she was just like, so basically opening to her classroom. She was like, yeah, if the students need any help, like help them with anything on top of um giving redirection all of that like shoot you could do it too you know and just for her to respect me as a teacher I appreciated that as well um so I was up helping kids um as much as I could of course and then in the middle of that we had a fire drill my first day was a fire drill how great but the students were great um and it wasn't as loud as I thought it was going to be yeah, it wasn't as loud as I thought it was going to be, but the kids did great. We went outside, boom, 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 came back in, got the fire drill done. We went back to doing um, phonemic awareness stuff with their whiteboards and um, talking back and forth with those things. And then um, they split into reading small groups, so I got to witness how those were done. Well, some students were able to leave the classroom and some students um, stayed in the classroom, so it literally just varied and then they did their partner reads all that and then it was time for lunch i had a debrief with my cooperating teacher and then i um headed out for the day i was only there for like three or four hours so um like the first part of the day of course after lunch they do some more stuff but i actually have class to get to so i will not be um watching that today but one day i have to stay the whole day here um just so I can see the whole schedule and how all that works basically my school um I don't know if I explained this in another video but practicum is um like three hours a week for the rest of the semester and then I also during that time have to teach three lessons um with my supervisor coming in so I have to schedule those as well but overall I'm really excited my first day went well I couldn't have asked for a better first day thank god I have a good cooperating teacher because I know some people do not and um yeah just to continue my educational journey I'm about to head back to school and go to class so if you like this video oh I didn't show you guys what I was wearing oh well I, it was already like pretty hot today um well, it's foggy this morning, as you guys saw in my intro. But I'm just wearing like a polka dotted. Sh 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 I want to say sweater. This is a dress, a polka dotted dress. Um, what's it called? Long sleeves because I get cold all the time. And basically, yeah, just a black dress with white polka dots. 
but i'll probably show you my other outfits later on um i have two other classes today and then i have open gym for basketball um but i just wanted to record my first day of um practicum experience for you guys don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up i will definitely be sharing more of my practicum experience as well so don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye